Jesse Foster welcomes you to Father Nation, Nation. where other dads illuminate your path to become a better father. Prepare to enter into the man cave. Children spell love, T-I-M-E. That, that is a massive piece of advice to me. I, I can never go back and recapture that time. And yet after I've spent it with them, I'm seldom ever saying, I wish I hadn't spent so much time with my kids. I think a habit that makes me a better dad would be um, my habit of of making life enjoyable with little things. And I mean by that, and looking back over my life, uh, I've taken opportunities with my children to sit in the gravel and play with the rocks and talk about where rocks come from. I've taken them out to our van late at night with a blanket and a pillow and laid on top of the van with my arms around them securely, of course, and watched the stars. Um, you know, every dad would like to have a limited budget to buy his kids the best and newest toys, to take them on the most outlandish vacations, but that isn't real life. Even for those who have you know, a lot of cash and always have a lot of time to do all those things. So there is a way of, uh, and the habit for me, the way I spend time with my children is with the little things, you know, making those Lego towers, sitting down at a table and playing with Play-Doh and, you know, making my own little structures. Just fun little simple things while I'm on the road with them, talking or, you know, spending, spending that time. That's a habit that's really helped me. To understand how powerfully valuable it is to be a father, how worthwhile it is. In my place, here I am, a dad with four kids, I'm telling bedtime stories to children. I'm creating books for children. It seems to be kind of weird because I'm one of the few male figures in that realm. I go into classrooms and sit down with kindergartners and second graders and tell stories. And some of them, in all honesty, have never seen a dad like that. They either don't have a dad in their home or they don't know what it's like to have a dad that's just without, you know, fear of being silly and being around his kids and telling funny stories. A lot of them don't. And that's heartbreaking to see those children want to, you know, get close to me or cuddle up. It's like they want to be around a dad. For fathers to take away from this episode, the concept of I have a place, I have a value, and it's not enough for me to make money and say, I just take care of my family and, and you, honey, you raise the kids. There's a, there's a massive world of worth and benefit that they alone can fill.